meeting guys and testing trackers with June and Robin Lovelock in Sunning Hill. Rough Park Photo Trail. And we've just got back from a trip to a garden open for the National Garden Scheme. But first, here's our place at 22 Armitage Court in Sunning Hill. Warning signs about pussy cats. Place where GPS was tested from the late 1980s. A bit of garden sculpture from June for my birthday present last year. We're coming down. Yes, we swung past Wisley to pick up some plants and were you inspecting damage or something there dear? Yeah. Oh, how do you open the bonnet? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you uh, pull a lever in here. You've done that. You've got this lever. Oh dear, don't shout at me. Uh, by the way, June is allowed to drive this car but not me. That is uh, a bit at the back end the in the press release. Um, it's to do with the DVLA. But while we're here, a little light up here tells us that Toadie, our guard cat, is on duty. He's taking it easy. And of course we have guard mice here as well, armed. And also that fort there as well. So. Yeah, and there's a warning sign about pussy cats on patrol. So uh, it looks as though I'm going to have to do some men's work and uh, stop this tape now. Turns out that it wasn't that difficult. You just had to pull the thing out, right? There you go, dear. And she said it was getting a bit hot. I'll let it cool down. He's going to let it cool down. Anyhow, this is my new car. And how many miles has it got on it, Jen? Uh, 112,000. 112,000 miles. And. The one before that was 200 and something thousand miles. So that's the car anyhow. Promotion of the website, which was a business probably 20 years ago and now has all sorts of other things, including charitable causes, hobbies, mostly hobbies. And while June's getting the flowers out, of course, the most important hobby at the moment is Snoopy's robot boat. Sorry, he's talking at the moment. That is an autopilot. If you heard that. So, other videos go into more detail about Snoopy's robot boat. Survived six weeks at sea last year, 2022, and sailed back into Rotterdam. What do you mean for some reason? And so we're just in the process of gathering the stuff together in order to repair the stuff in there. And one of the things is the SATCOMS tracker. And that's one of the things we've been testing in the car. So if I go back here, that's the SATCOMS tracker, the spots trace. That's a spare one that we've been experimenting for years. And there's also some new trackers, very low cost from China and very good stuff as well. There's another one there, so-called GoTop trackers. So back pointing out the usual things that appear on the front of these videos. Snoopy's robot boat. The camper was used to take Snoopy down to the sea for his launch and we sustained some battle damage. June said Robin did it, Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. And as people know, I'm a health and safety freak and so we have warning signs everywhere. Warning signs about cameras. But you have to read the small print carefully about the water squirters. So I'll now go into the house. This is where Samantha normally works. So, and yes, lots of junk that's got to be tidied up and put in the garden in the right places. Yes, another robot boat. And 
that's been one of the activities been going on in the background that is I can tell robot boat related work so because this video is about meeting guys and trackers I'll switch on the computer and look at where we've been so that's my website that's the front page on a TV screen driven by a little cheap computer and if we go to the contact page then you can track us on that over there which is the one of the spot trackers so I've already opened that up so let's look at that one and there is where we went today and the photo trail will show it in more detail but it was basically open to a over to a garden open for the National Garden Scheme charity and then back by a Wisley. So that's enough of that and we'll be going into a long photo trail now or photo trails because it's over several days and at the end I'll wrap up but I might put the a bit from the press release uh, video there's lots of stories that on the press page hobby projects like robot boats and sometimes these things overlap into charitable causes and of course uh, one of the stories is um, uh, what's been happening with the TVLA. but anyhow straight into those long photo trials Monday the 15th of May 2023 photo trail lasts in about two minutes. This is an aid to my memory shared with others. Anybody who points me at a particular place I can probably give an explanation. If one is needed, sometimes it's pretty obvious. There's one of the trackers being charged up and there's arrival of some more kit by courier. And what am I looking at? Oh yes, that's uh, checking out the voltage on the GoTop tracker. You'll see a lot of that sort of stuff on later photo trials. Checking out what the pin connections are. And we might use one of those in the robot boat. And of course there's lots of other applications. So that was my first test of that GoTop tracker and it looked good. So put one practically permanently in the car and that shows it at the right place so what else there's the robot boat outside anybody can see Samantha working from home June watching tennis and ah oh, the press release <laughs> oh yeah a few other guys looking at things around the world so that press release, I've got an extract from that where it relates to the DVLA, although there's lots of other stories. That's arrival of Kit, there's Toadie, and Bentley from opposite, the guard cats. I think we're probably watching, yes, Clive Mari, lovely program about Sicily and other parts of Italy. So watching that. I'm doing the closed circuit TV check and what do I see but the fox coming for the peanuts again and a hedgehog charging up the trackers those are personal trackers and watching that lovely program and then the BBC news and that's about it Tuesday the 16th of May 2023 photo trail lasts in about three and a half minutes. Yes, we were looking for a place open for the National Garden Scheme. Ended up just being a test for our trackers because we couldn't find the place. <laughs> and, uh, so let's go into the trail. Yep, yeah, the results came out for the COVID. And yeah, bits being gathered for the robot boat repairs and yeah that's the actually checking where we might go and that's our trip off to with June driving because Robin's still not allowed to drive uh, according to the DBLI and yeah we're testing the GoDot tracker 
watching it live on June's smartphone. And here we are searching for the place and using the sat nav and uh, yeah this looks as though it's probably yeah I thought we might get some advice from the council offices please anyhow we found the area and the places that would have been open and it was a lovely area on the edge of new housing and perhaps use of the NGS was an idea to promote that by the local council but I'm sure the money that we paid online first was actually did go into the NGS National Garden Scheme lovely charity that's topping up with petrol on the way back June driving robbing passenger coming past Sandhurst Military Academy getting home past the Beresleed and we're home and that's the spot trace that's going into the boat there's Tody checking voltages deliberately changing uh, batteries not the recommended ones to see the limitations of the device at what rate it consumes power because obviously the power is going to be used uh, by the trace tracker but be supplied by solar panels and other external batteries. Yes, yeah, so I put it upside down. <laughs> no wonder it hadn't worked properly. I was just looking at the time on the report. But put it the right way up, and uh, that's the other tracker, the Go Top, which we're checking out, which is new and gives a lovely detailed trace of our searching around for that place and that link is public and we popped it into the car almost permanently that one got more than one there's my personal tracker which i've been using for years and june's got one as well typically on her handbag and she's rustling up some food i'm checking out some commands you can send to it and then i'll probably have my food in the lounge while they're watching tennis I'm watching the closed circuit TV foxes and hedgehogs coming for the peanuts yeah there he is Wednesday the 17th of May 2023 photo trail about 12 and a half minutes checking out the trackers wherever we went there was a trip around the corner to the church just to see whether the new logic that's in the tracker enables us to uh, get them to last longer and uh, yeah back home yes a lot of this is related to Snoopy's robot boat hobby project replacing bits that have been damaged on that trip to the sea and rather the the six weeks at sea and the untidy lounge lots of stuff to be tidied up jobs going on in the background in the garden technical information on the pickaxe computer which we've been using for years with no change to the software and getting good advice off the pickaxe forum that looks like June rustling me up my favorite lunch scrambled egg salmon on toast yeah more information on the pickaxe. Well, there's a call there for June, and that looks like I'm not sure where that's off to. Probably remember. Ah, uh, yes, I think we were going down to visit a business, DMTL, that I'd found by accident. Interesting business, interesting conversations, and testing the spot T tracker the one that's going to go into Snoopy's robot boat to replace the one that was damaged past the Sandhurst Military Academy and checking out the trackers with June's smartphone as we went and then down to the village near the Comrades Club to our friends and their doggy Romeo and we took 
one of the go top trackers in with us Jeff next door about all June treating us to coffee and the odd bicky and checking on June's smartphone that it was at the right position that's correct and Romeo helping or hindering he wants to play hello Romeo lovely flowers in the garden Romeo running about up to mischief what's Robin doing there nice little garden feature oh yes picture from Saskia and yeah checking that the tracker works on her phone as well and then back to the car and put them on the reference position Robin's corner uh, take a look at the robot boat and Samantha working from home into the lounge check yes the positions are correct on Robin's corner and that's the journey including stopping off in the village and that's the whole round trip including down to DMT and yes June's still down with Bell and I'm here according to my personal pendant tracker and both go top trackers are at home there you go in the car that's go top tracker number one that's Toadie's fort the light says he must be in and he is tracking is caring yes nice slogan so that's June's pendant tracker she's back home yes it's normally kept on a handbag the garden because a number of jobs are going on at the same time but, uh, just a matter of grabbing the weather and responding to what happens uh, it looks like I'm doing a bit of work there on the so-called spare spot tracker that's in a box seems to be working okay hello phone call hello what's that food oh fishmonger perhaps called yeah June pointing out something there oh yeah the roses are coming into flower nicely spot there we go looks like I'm ah yes firmware update decided to update them with the very latest firmware that hadn't been done for several years and go through the process of running the installation village did I say installation village <laughs> anyhow it all worked yeah, I was crossing my fingers then but after updating it to the latest firmware on both trackers including the one in the box so-called spot T2 uh, the trackers work fine might have even worked better than they did before oh Toadies decided to try the top of fort number two looks comfortable up there yes don't forget the warning signs right looks like I'm moving the spare spot two T2 tracker and the spot T tracker and June's decided to take a picture or two of Toady from his new vantage point yes that's the one that's going into the boat and that's working fine and yeah it looks as though it's the same process doing a firmware update on it since that worked for the other one so that's got the latest firmware and again tests after that showed it worked fine put it on Robin's corner which is the reference position and sure enough it looks as it should be nice and accurate 
and anybody can by going to you can look at where we've been for example for the last day or look at the live position and so that's public off the Snoopy page and it has been for years and that's the back in the car now so two of the spot not the spot trackers go top trackers in the car as well now could this be another trip going somewhere I must admit I don't recall where it was but I guess we'll recognize this towed you on century duty up the road through the village Sun in Hill Village, past the Novello Theatre. To the church. Ah, perhaps that's the trip to the church to track the trackers out after I changed both their lots of firmware. And of course, a lot of history to St Michael's Church included in the Lovelock and Ponsford families. Ponsford's have been in the town since the railways were put in. So there's checking the trackers, checking on June's smartphone and yes it shows exactly where we're parked in the car park of the churchyard, exactly in the right position. And that's how anybody can look where the tracker is. Both trackers are given the same position, and that's how one gets to on the others. So now, to get at the experimental go top trackers, that's off blog 10, which is linked off the Snoopy page, and they show the correct positions as well. I'm having to wear glasses there in order to see the small text to select the satellite image. That was the only problem with it. And that tracker is in the back of the car. There it is, at the correct position. Yeah, that's it on satellite imagery. You see the whole of the graveyard there. And then I decided to take a walk down and I noticed that there was uh, a pheasant that didn't seem at all worried about people so as I walked down, there he was, hardly bothering about me. Graveyard at St Michael's Church, down to the very end. That's been there not so long. And then make my way back, memories of Jack Ponsford that are on my Jack page. Jack's ashes are there and of course there's overlap because we discovered some of the products uh, that Jack's care like the pensioner trackers uh, and Jack was brilliant with those ah oh, looks like a bit of work related to the pond here putting the peanuts out for the foxes and other wildlife like hedgehogs that like them as the pussy cat on sentry duty or dozing off to sleep. Uh, check in the contact page there which enables you to get to the spare tracker and there I'm checking and yes it shows the right positions at the churchyard and then the go top tracker going going back looking at the track and there it is driving in and out of the car park at the church that's how one gets to those trackers off the blog 10 page which is linked from the Snoopy page and they're working fine so that's the robot boat that a lot of this relates to look like June has rustled up some food here and I'll do my usual routine of going into the downs ah oh, looks like some stuff has arrived oh no I'm ordering stuff yeah, ordering stuff, for bits for the electronics, for the, well, basically the, the pickaxe-based computer for the autopilot. 
and yeah have to wait a while from China I didn't realize I placed that order and then realized how oh, it's going to take several days to come through got well, several sources there's both both of the pendant trackers there's a fox arriving and a hedgehog two hedgehogs June watching tennis that's a surprise and that's it Thursday the 18th of May 2023 225 photos in seven and a half minutes including pub lunch with grumpy old men and meeting Bob Rule, the cat of Roy and Sally and here we go we're into the photo trail now and yes Toady relaxing in his fort enjoying a bit of sunshine looks like I'm speaking on the pickaxe forum to get a bit of advice but also we've got a problem with the water's dropped so low that the pump has come disconnected as well so that's a fiddly job not sure what we're going to do about that oh then a phone call comes in it's all happening at once oh, at least that was fairly easy the reason the pump had stopped is it was blocked so that was easily washed out not so easy to get back in place so yeah bit of a bit of a challenge that still it's on the list of jobs to be done and for the moment yes it was right another phone call ah oh, yes <laughs> getting ready to go out for pub lunch and take a tracker with us to the cricketers there we go and nice food and then the go top solar tracker being used to uh, check where we were in the pub <laughs> and also take it everywhere until we get home park in the drive and have a quick glimpse at where it had gone yeah there's our journey to and fro it scatters about a bit when it's indoors and there we go to the pub and back so that's all working okay time for the lads to go and I guess I probably carried her on along with oh yes chatting on the pickaxe forum getting some good advice from that it's a few years since I had so gathering together information to put up on the blog so everybody can share the same information June relaxing in the garden lovely and sunny and Toadie the Pussycat does as well yes where is he now yeah look it says I've decided to change the some of the details on the spot tracker reporting rates and we're probably giving it a check out general idea is wherever we're going we take it with us ah to Roy's <laughs> his lovely workshop and Bovril the pussycat uh, I shouldn't say fat but he is rather large and he also decided to give me a scar there but not quite as bad as those I get from Toady lovely garden nice pond there's Bob Rule and also checking the tracker yeah that looks like the correct position now we're obviously on our way back and had a phone call and not sure where we're going next until I look looks as though we're going somewhere deliberately uh, going past Sandhurst Military Academy Maybe we're just checking the trackers on the way home. No, that looks as though... Yeah. Going past the beef eater. Yeah, all seems to be working. Yeah, on their way home. In past the Beristeed. Into Armitage Court. Into 22 Armitage Court. To be greeted by... 
<laughs> cats prowling around, including Toadie. Hello, Toadie. Yes, he likes that vantage point. Oh, yes. I got some bits of Vera board from Roy and the spot tracker seems to be working yeah anybody can look at the position that's the one that will be going in the boat to replace the damaged one yeah and the positions looked correct and that's the so-called spare spot tracker that anybody can see by going to the contact page that's been the case for years but we're still tweaking things like the latest firmware in it was one thing and I think that was the rate of updates and now the go top trackers that are being checked out on blog 10 which is to do with the modifications and repairs to the robot boat but this overlaps very much with the trackers so anybody can look at where those are and the software that is available for the trackers enables one to look at the detailed path of a track that could be very useful for um, things like testing on Bray Lake you can set it to a fast rate yeah looks pretty good then the pendant tracker which I've been using for years I call that the pocket cam because it has got a little camera in it and again shows the same path difference is of course it's on foot and back home yep just here tracking is caring yeah I quite like that catchphrase looks like looks like dinner and of course I'll take the dinner through to the lounge uh, looks as though yeah spend a little bit of time on the forum and get some good information from those guys time to put the peanuts out in the usual place on the top bridge and the bottom bridge and yeah and on the road and where are we going next yes looks like Toadie's in his fort because the little light is on yes that's where he is peanuts are there June's watching pendant trackers yeah I'm looking for any wildlife appears June's now watching the tennis in the lounge oh yes <laughs> Alan from Gotop hello that looks a serious phone call yeah foxes arriving to the peanuts weather must be getting near the end of the trail Friday the 19th of May 2023, 226 photos in seven and a half minutes. Yeah, we had trips to uh, an NGS garden, friends in the village, and a lovely meal at the Italian restaurant. So that gives you a flavour. But we use the trips out to see places and people to test the various trackers. So the NGS garden was a trip not very long, three quarters of an hour less. And yes, that's us leaving there, Cat Toady and the robot boat. And off we go, June Drive. And yeah, there's the trackers and various types of tracker there. And so we're coming through the village. Yeah, I'm passenger through Sunning Hill Village and using June's smartphone we can actually see progress on for example the spot satcoms tracker and also the go top tracker and so that's me just checking it as we actually go along the road and anybody can visit the links that are public so that was working nicely looks as though we're arriving at the lovely garden that was open for the National Garden Scheme and we met some very interesting people there and there were some interesting connections as well so that was the place 
and of course the small amount of money they collect at the door goes into the charity and of course there are lots of coincidences so we are looking around their garden June likes the flowers and things and they also had bees there as well, beehives yeah so getting up as close as I dare and June takes some pictures with her smartphone that aren't in these gradually working our way back to have some refreshments and again the money that goes on those go into the charity yeah lovely little doggy in the household June pointing out something there yeah and that's the back of the house lovely place ah they've got grapes coming along nicely looking out the back and an interesting table there and working our way about to leave yep so we get back to the car and again checking the trackers as we go and there is the 3d track and we may have the possibility of adding that uh, I had to put my glasses on to read the uh, what was on one of them that's how anybody can look at what's on the spot tracker off the Snoopy page and there's the correct position yep that's good and then we decide oh we go to Wisley Gardens that's what <coughs> June wanted to do and that was on our way home anyhow she there was some plants she wanted to get so I relaxed outside the cafe and messed around to see what I could do with my little dumb phone quite difficult even with glasses June's phone was a bit more suitable so we got the plants that June wanted and we were able to set off home again and that's what the tracker showed exactly where we parked the car so from the various trackers we got the same sort of accurate position so now we're setting off back home there was a bit of a queue uh, and uh, got the trees in flower that looks as though we're probably coming through Chobham there, there which is not far from us it used to be famous for the tank factory now there's film studios there Yep, so we're back home. Got to unload the plants. And yes, Toadie's there, relaxing in his fort. Had a look, and yes, there was their journey. I'm looking at it on the PC. And that's how anybody could get to one of the trackers off the contact page. And the other tracker, both the same type, spot trace. It's off the Snoopy page and that is the whole journey there and back and then we're down to the village to see our friends and June has some plants to give and there's their dog Romeo there's Raj I Raj and Bal and enjoying a coffee yes Romeo keeping an eye so <laughs> He does tend to lick a lot. Then it was into La Sorrentina, the Italian restaurant, just a few yards away. And of course we met people there. Yes, and it turns out one of them, <laughs> Alan, was there before going down to take some f photographs at uh, an event down at the Court Hall. So a few snaps inside La Sorrentina. Lovely meal and yes including dolce or pudding so we leave that and back up the road and ah the lights on which means toady is in his fort and june noticed there was a problem needed a hand the water needed topping up in the car yes toady keeping an eye on us 
So back past the boat, that's been driving a lot of the work. Now I'm now checking out the pendant tracker and that shows the visit to both places. So anywhere I walk. And yes, a nice slogan, tracking is caring. Ah, now the <laughs> lovely stuff on the pickaxe forum. Guys really helping. Oh yes, so there's that was in the posting. Uh, that's all to do with um, what happens if I don't settle June for the kit that I bought. Saturday the 20th of May 2023, photo trail, 123 photos in four minutes. Yes, we went to another garden, opened for the National Garden Scheme charity. And yes, there's pictures of a cat. And then the WhatsApp video chat with family at the end of the day. So we put my car away. Uh, Tony was watching us from his fort and used June's car because took the trackers out of course to take with us uh, because my car had been making a bleeping sound and annoying neighbours so we thought if it's in the garage it would make less noise so that's Mr Faulkner whose garden it was and off that's the route down there and so as we leave yes there's the trackers we're going to take with us and got to find a way of putting them in the car not easy had to improvise with bits of duct tape of course Robin was passenger so that's the best we could do to stop them sliding about inside the car and that's tracking air progress down on June's smartphone and so we're probably practically there then yes very close and yeah the sat nav had a bit of a problem because we just put the postcode in which was an area <laughs> right so we're practically there there's the signs National Garden Scheme Charity, park the car in the road, go in and have a look around the lovely garden. And uh, obviously June did the interest. I'd like the chickens. Hello chickens. And lovely pond. Lovely flowers as well. Yeah, I love that bulrush. And then of course, coffee and cake and we're off home checking the trackers as we go and they show the correct position of where we were so that's the spot trace which is going in the robot boat and there is spot T as it's called and that's the go top tracker that solar powered one the big round red one and then do you want to no we I thought we didn't swing in anywhere else so I did I can't remember now <laughs> Anyhow, got home okay. Yes, Toadie's in his fort, you can tell because of the little light tells you. Put the trackers on the Robin's Corner place. So again, we can check whether they're working accurately still. Because at the end of the day, we're letting the batteries run low and see how they perform. Yeah positions look pretty good and there's the route down and back and that's if you go to the blog 10 you get links to the go top trackers anybody can look at those and that was the route down it gives you a very detailed track oh yes we called into the squires garden center on the way back that was it and then my personal tracker that is the same information but of course I was on foot including walking around the garden and back home again tracking is caring yes I quite like that slogan yup and that's about it is it is there anything else happening there Toadie finds he quite likes her car Oh yes, that's process in this video. And June watching tennis. Toady with her. Oh yes, video chat with family, including Michelle and her pussy cat, which you might get a view of the cat if you're lucky. Her cat's called Lady. There we go, that's Lady. Hello, Lady. Hello, Toady. Sit. That's the end. 
I'm about to play you the 3D GPS track that June recorded on her smartphone and emailed it to me. And let's play it. Let's see. I'm, I'm doing this on the Chromebook, by the way. So let's see if I can play it. Here we go. So it's playing it now. So this is the Outdoor Active app plays a bit of music there but basically the app runs on a smartphone and it recorded the walk around the lovely garden that was open near Oxted and yes lovely Polish lady I seem to remember and there we go and it'll tell us how far we walked and how long it took so according to that zero kilometers 43 minutes and we only changed altitude by 13 meters. <laughs> I told you it'd be long photo trails. Uh, I'm coming back into the room now and you'll probably see I'm wearing something different because I'm gonna go into something shot a few days ago, which was the related to the press release. And as it happens, the DVLA part is headlined at the front and that was the reason I set the page up uh, whenever that was uh, a couple of years ago I suppose but the important thing is there are many other stories that would be of much more interest to people and I've plugged those in and I've often illustrated them with relevant links to other pages for example the Radio Solent bottle tracking page where we track bottles and there's lots of other things there including the robot boats. Lots of different stories and of course some of them are related to charitable causes and so lots and lots that's just by scrolling down you get a flavour there are lots of different stories there and from my point of view it's not about making money. If any, but if anybody thought I was making money from something, they'd say, oh, he would say that, wouldn't he? It's hopefully to do a little bit of good. So the next page I go to, which is linked from the press page, which is, I called it my DVLA Funny Farm page. So if we go to that, which is already visited so there that is the page and it has all the information about my case contents list there and yes no apologies for that cartoon Information security is a major project at this company. We've done a lot of stupid things we'd like to keep secret. Uh, that applies to a lot of places. So I'll scroll down to let you realise that there is a lot of information on that. And in great detail. Including the latest information. 22nd February 2023 onwards. Right, that's enough of that. Now, much more interesting subject is Snoopy's Robot Boat, and a fun project. Loads of people might get interested in it. They don't have to be a boat to cross the Atlantic. Uh, but here's a flavor of the publicity we got. Cancel that. Back in 2012. The launch of a transatlantic sailing attempt this morning in a model boat. Retired NATO scientist Robin Lovelock launched his snoop loop from Barton on Sea towards the Bahamas. It's already been tested over 5,000 miles on a lake in Berkshire. The model will be steered and tracked through a satellite system and by Snoopy of course, and it should make the crossing in six months, if it survives that is. The most important thing of the lot of course is Snoopy the Viking, the skipper. I don't think he'd make it otherwise. We've also got another bit and piece here. This is a GPS logger that logs the position every 15 minutes. For that was back in 2012. Um, the 
guy that put this material together, including live broadcast and what went up on the BBC website, is Ben Moore. I just worry for Snoopy. Sport now and Hampshire. Right, on to the next topic. Right. Now, I'm going to do this all in one take. Um, all re unrehearsed and unscripted, so sorry about that. Uh, what I'd like to happen, if anybody picks up on the uh, DVLA story, is, as I say, nobody getting into trouble, and that is a, that's a genuine request, but when they, they find flaws in procedures where they don't cover certain things, be good if those are fixed. What I think would be useful uh, for anybody looking at the DVLA and then perhaps helping them is first of all their organisation chart show, showing the structure. Yes, it's well known who the head of the DVLA, remarkable woman looking at her CV. Um, and relevant to this story is uh, the head of the health part but it would be very useful to see even if names aren't attached obviously the names can be attached where they're public already is how many people in each branch how many people are reporting to how many uh, so a simple tree would help I suggest that first of all then perhaps even more important is how many people working for the DVLA, even if you don't identify the individuals, are salaried by the DVLA <coughs> excuse me, directly as opposed to contracted through an agency or a business? That is very important. And we've seen what's been happening in places like the NHS for years. Um, so that comes into the equation in terms of whether money is well spent and of course the DVLA collects a lot of money um, and there are probably other things as well but as a starting point I'd hope anybody that responds to this uh, I can't afford to get overloaded we've got other things to do many other things to do uh, and we'll be taking a holiday that would be public yes <laughs> uh, I'm tracked everywhere by different things and in fact if anybody's paranoid about it, uh, anybody who's tracking somebody or looking at somebody's probably seen <laughs> already. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, there's me wittering on, which is one of my main weakness since I was a little little child. That's why if you put things up clearly, be careful what you put up, and uh, often it can do some good. So I think that's it. Um, so, time to wrap up this very rough cut. I, I hope anybody who does contact me, I suggest the most practical way is by email. I don't want to be overloaded and at the very minimum they have their full contact details. And this is Toadie has just come to join us. He's one of our fierce guard cats so beware right so just remains to say look after yourselves stay safe and enjoy what days we have <laughs>